Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Monday, April 11th, 2022. Heading over to Far Rockaway. Right now we're in Arvern, the Rockaway Peninsula, which is in Queens. Um, multiple family structure, multiple apartments, that is. They have state tankless water heaters, and one of them is giving them an error 991. All right, guys, let's go see what 991 is about and how to solve it. Stay tuned, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, thank you in advance. Let's get going. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hi. Here for uh, no hot water. Yes. Uh, where is the heater at? The store? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 991. Yeah, I mean. Means incomplete combustion. They were, we just moved in like a week ago. They were here to do it. There was no hot water and now again. Yeah. The, when we were taking showers, it was hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, even in the middle of the shower. And they vent the. Is there roof access here? Yeah. How do I come? It's all the way up? Okay, cool. All right. Let's take a look at the venting here. Hmm. So there's an apartment below us. There's two apartments on this side. This is actually very nice, by the way. Wow. So there's two apartments, so there's a set for everything. I'm gonna get bet one of those for exhaust and one of them for fresh air. So we definitely have good clearance. All right, so first, couple of observations. Daniel was here. There's no sticker on the machine. He's going to get a written warning. There's no sticker on the machine that we were here. No valve tag on the gas or the domestic water on this Takagi right there. State. Just like the on off button to clear it. To start to clear it. Okay. Turn the display off. That turned the display off, correct. Yeah. Next step. Uh, the captain needs to be open, so on the uh, computer board down the lower left corner. Okay. Um, there are four push buttons. Yes, I see that. So the two rightmost push buttons are your increase and decrease buttons. Uh, what you're going to do is hold both those buttons in for about uh, three seconds until the red light on the board turns on. I see a green light. I only see a green light. I'm still holding them down. It may be green. It says red. Okay. But anyway, um, go ahead and uh, turn the uh, power off to the heater. There's an on-off switch above you. You can go ahead and switch that off. On-off switch above me. Oh, uh, yep, I see it. Okay. The toggle switch to the left of the, I guess, the heat exchanger combustion area chain. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So you turn that off and turn it back on. That's successful. That should put code out. Okay. So now it is on the display. It shows zero, zero, zero. Okay. It's doing something. Okay. okay. What could cause the 991 error? I was reading the manual and it, it says something to do with incomplete combustion. And then it says refer to, um, was it zero one zero one or one one zero? Well, um, yeah, it's improper combustion. So that indicates we're getting improper air fuel mixture. Um, that could be due to a number of factors that could be due to um, a blockages or obstruction in the venting. Okay. Um, that could also indicate um, an issue 
like uh, something with their incoming gas supply. Okay. Or especially if it's an older unit, it could be something like a, a dirty burner. So, it, so we were here um, about a couple weeks ago. Um, this this unit is one of you know I guess dozens in this little development here. And um, the last time we were here, the you know a new tenant moved in and they didn't have any any hot water. And we found that I guess maybe the unit was off or shut down. You know the isolation valves are closed, the gas was turned off. Uh, when we turned everything on, we got error 111, which is ignition failure. And we removed the, you know, we, we got inside of it. We, um, we found like the 20, the, the 110 volt ignition transformer was just hanging with like someone, someone was trying to play with it, obviously. <laughs> we put, put everything back together. Um, and then the flame rod, the flame rods looked good. And it started up and ran fine. But that was about, Maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. I mean, a 111 could be related. I mean, you know, those same sort of things that cause a 111 could can cause a 991. It doesn't matter of degree, whether it lights at all or whether it's just it's lighting, but it's not burning properly. Okay. So, um, but, it, you know, essentially you're looking at the same sort of issue in that scenario. You're talking about um, verifying your gas pressure. It be something that, that might be needed to be in that situation. Um, you know, obviously, I'm sure you probably check for obstruction in the vent. Yes. So if the burn has been cleaned, uh, if it, you know, if it has to be cleaned, that may also be something that could be a factor there. Um, <laughs> those would be the most likely things on a more established uh, install like this one here. Okay. So let's take a closer look at the burner, and that's a bu that's, that's directly on top of, right below the exhaust going out, right or no? Uh, yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's right there. Um, Actually, if you look behind uh, where the side glass is, you got that inspection plate that looks right into the burner. Ah, there's my burner. Okay. So it's yep. a little more complex, but it, well, it looks like dozens of screws. There are quite a few screws. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to take the, uh, the gas off to get to it. Uh, we do have instructions on how to remove the burner. Um, I can send you a copy of that. Yeah, if you could do that, well, that would be great. Okay. Uh, what's your email address? Mike at pipedoc.net. P I P E D O C dot net. Now, bef before this, before the cost, you know, I was speaking to the, the homeowner, well, the tenant, whatever. Um, when I arrived, um, they had mentioned like this weekend, they're in the shower and the water would be hot, then would go cold, then it would go hot, then it would go cold, and then this morning they had no hot water at all, and then they noticed the error on the display. Any correlation? Any co strictly coincidence, or is that something else? That probably is related, I would say. I mean, you know, there's a there's sort of a, a spectrum of, uh, of um, or, or a cluster of error codes that are all sort of similar, but slightly different. Understood. Uh, which would be the 101, 991, 121, and 111. So, you know, you're talking improper combustion, flame loss, or ignition failure. Um, and they're all really the same. It just matters, uh, you know, if which stage of operation the error code occurs so that's really um you know it probably is most likely going to be something similar going on there that we're just not getting proper burn and the water here shutting down because of that most likely copy all right so i will wait for your email and then i will take a look at the the burner because it's probably dirty <laughs> it probably is i would say most likely most of the time that's usually gonna be our problem but i did go ahead and send you that document so you should be receiving that and that will have those instructions uh there inside it perfect all right we're gonna take this bad boy apart i got my instructions on my ipad i'm gonna make sure this burner's clean it's probably dirty and that's i don't want to have another recall call back and come back out here so we're gonna follow these directions and take this apart let's get going all right step one turn off gas electricity to the water heater remove the seven screws so one two three four five six seven one two three four uh, let's zoom in on that see i guess it's this one And then, and then this one here and 
that one there. This looks a little different, actually. Looks like there was a screw here. Someone took it out. Yeah. There was a screw there. Someone took it out. Hmm. All right. Not easy to take apart, but we have a considerable amount of drippage here. Rust. And got off the phone with him again after seeing this and they're like yeah it's not normal so not much more we can do to clean this bad boy up all right so this burner assembly or the heat exchanger assembly is designed to come out but the amount of rust here it's not it's kind of like welded shut so i'm not gonna be able to continue and there it is. It's a shame. Well, the machine is toast. And the property owner only wants another state wood heater. They want the same exact model. I'm like, well, <laughs> I can't get, get you the model. Maybe, maybe a few weeks out. I was like, but I can get you a Bosch. He's like, oh no, too much money, too much money. I'm like, quality doesn't cost, it pays. So, now I'm home a little bit early, walking the dogs. Walking the dogs, Stoli. You like going for walks? I know Gigi does. <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in. Really, really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you got some education out of this short little video. If you got that error message, Chances are you got that damper blocked. You have something to do with cross-contamination. Could be multiple things. But in this particular case, the machine is, is toast. It is what it is. All right, guys. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.